You're now tuned into Kobe's universe since you're just sitting on Uranus. This is the number one YouTube channel for hip hop culture news, informed black social issues, song reaction videos, and even comedy. So be sure to like this post. And if you haven't already subscribed, do so right about now. Razzcast. YouTube salute. Boosie explains why he wanted to put hands on Lil Nas X and talks about how the gay fans support him and he suggests a hidden hand is seeking to control hip hop. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Check out new album reviews from Nas, King's Disease 2. Bodie James and the Alchemist, Bo Jackson in the album review playlist. So, Boosie Badass was on the Breakfast Club and he talked about he will beat little Nas ass. Well, not the ass, but put hands on him as far as if he was getting on stage naked. He's saying that if he was at a concert he attended, he saw um, little Nas X doing that, he would put hands on him. And he said he was dead serious about that. And he wasn't, you know, holding nothing back. He felt that that's inappropriate. And he felt that, you know, especially if you're trying to raise young black men, young black, you know, girls. And then the question was also opposed. What happened with some black women that was naked on stage? Would, would you do something about that? He made a joke. I need my strippers. I need my strippers. To me, it should go both ways. You know, don't get me wrong. There's young black men don't need to be seen at a certain age because you can actually um, damage their minds. You know, they don't need to be seen none of that shit. And he also spoke about how in your household, you know, they're controlling everything through, you know, propaganda as far as like the initiative is what cartoons, TV shows, everything you see, you know, power they got what's her name jukebox in the raising canaan she having these scenes with the white girl she kissing the white girl look at empire look at there was a movie came out it's on netflix fear street two white girls you know look at that the lgbtq they continue to push that agenda they got the agenda now with the eternals you know the black guy that plays um in atl excuse me atlanta that um that series that comes on fx he's gay in the eternals you know stuff like that they they continue to do now they got robin <laughs> as being bisexual in dc so the agenda continues to get pushed and pushed and pushed you can't even come out and say you're a proud heterosexual without being targeted and looked at as something funny but they want you to be silent they want you to, you know, keep your mouth closed. Don't talk about it because, you know, you're stirring the pot and you're making people feel uncomfortable. To me, if we don't make people feel uncomfortable, then what we're going to do? We're going to sit here and let them do what we want to do. Hip hop is an outlet. And, you know, some people don't like when people talk about killing each other. Okay, I can respect that. Some people don't like about, oh, look at that H-O-E. Shaking her ass, you know, big titties. I want to take it down. They don't like the other um, music. Oh, the women coming out talking about she want to suck on somebody. You know what? But you know what? You can't even blame hip hop about that. Because they was making songs back in the day. Like oldie songs. It wasn't explicit as in hip hop. But they was talking about getting their freak on. They were probably talking about making love and stuff. But songs weren't coming out like that. But it's a different time. And things is way to express yourself. You know, nudity and violence is something that we need to actually limit ourselves, especially with the youth, because they see too many things. Now, as far as anybody, you should want to protect your children, no matter who an artist it is. They shouldn't be coming out naked. They should, if any artist have respect for children, even if you are, you know, a homosexual, gay, whatever. Have respect for children because they don't need to be seen at, a, at an early age. You know, you should have respect. If that's if that's your lane and that's what you want to do, so be it. Ain't nobody going to knock you for that. 
but have respect for children like me. I have respect for who I am, my spirituality. I'm not going to force that on some children that I come across. You don't do stuff like that. You know, that's, that's, that's the wrong mentality. That's having this Euros, Eurocentric ideology. And that's not right at all. I feel like we need to be understanding. We need to have a better understanding. Excuse me. Ch children. I know I'm speaking on the black community, but just overall in general, I don't care if you're Hispanic, Asian, white, doesn't matter right now. Have respect for the next nationality race. Okay. If that's what you want to do, do what you want to do. You know, if you see some children at the park and you know, why would you want to kiss, you know, in front of some children? I don't care if you are straight and you a man and a woman. You shouldn't be humping on each other in front of some children at the park. Show respect for the children. It's all about the children. And like I said, I want to hear more music when it comes to consciousness, when it comes to uplifting the culture. You know, we have enough people talking about, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill you. How about actually trying to take down the government? How about actually trying to, you know, build a community up? How about actually trying to actually talk about financial literacy? We need more rappers like Immortal Technique, Dead Press. You know, look at Nas' new album. Listen to that album like that. You need more rappers that's going to talk about the real stuff. That's going to actually open up lanes, you know, and really spit stuff. J. Cole, the Kendrick Lamars. You know, even SP would drop jewels, you know. The Black Thoughts. Music like that. That's what we need. But definitely want to hear what you got, what you think about Bootsy. Coming out talking about he wanted to put why he wanted to put hands on little Nas X and the agenda um that the LGBTQ is pushing. If you haven't checked out the interview on the Breakfast Club, please check it out. It actually came out today. Post your comments below. Hulk smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute. If you're looking for me to react to any song freestyle video, that's $20 per reaction. For sponsorships, that's $50 minimum. Also, hoax smash, Black Panther, the like button, subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, if you want to become a Patreon member, patreon.com slash Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description, y'all. Salute.